Okay, so here we are now at shifting lesson packet, lesson 10, number two. So how to uh, play what, if you can shift, how to play some things in third position, okay? And I'm gonna do exactly what you have on lesson 10 so you could follow along and I'll show it to you, but okay. So this assumes that you are pretty good and have worked on getting yourself up into third position and just practiced, okay? So, right? Like, so you're basically like, okay, I can make my hand do that. I can hold my instrument and get my hand into third position and also back out of it, back to first position, which is your good old position. So you want to make sure that you can get your hand where you want it to go. And listen, I'm telling you, I play violin gigs and all kinds of things professionally, and I miss it all the time. So, you know, it's not perfect. Like if you can get it and you know how close or far you are and you can adjust on the fly, that's what you're looking for, okay? If you have a little tape, or a star on your instrument that helps you find it, that's good. If you don't have it and you wanna, like if you have a little sticker or something and you can figure out, okay, I know this is the right place for my finger to go, so I'm just gonna pull a little star just to try to help yourself if you need a reference. Or you can definitely go by ear. So B is B. And you guys have been playing a while now, so you know when your D is right, your high D is right or not right, okay? I'm still talking about high D on the A string. All right, so, I'm gonna go to, let's, you get yourself up to third position, okay? I'm gonna do four piece. Okay? Here I am in third position, okay? So if I'm playing D with my first finger now instead of my good old third finger, that means if you put your second finger a whole step away and you're kind of going a little bit by ear unless you have a mark but you know it's about that far if you're doing that that is where your old fourth finger spot was which is e on the a string so so instead of using fourth finger in first position i'm now using second finger in third position. So basically your first and third fingers switched. Everything that was third became first. And everything that was fourth became, is gonna become second finger. So I got D and E. And frankly, it's my favorite thing about third position. I practiced third position, so I got really good at it. So that now I'm easier. It's better for me to have to shift and play with two fingers to play an E on the A string rather than have to use my pinky fourth finger. Hooray for me. Okay, so you can learn it that well too. Please do. All right, so first finger in third position on the A string is D. You're up there. Your thumb is there. It's like your violin got shorter. Your second finger is going to sound like your E. And is now it's two instead of four. You can check it by playing your open E. If your open E is in tune, I hope it is. If you need me to help you tune, that's another video. Um... So you've got D and E. So now you can practice staying in third position. Don't do the shifting. You're up there. Okay. And you can practice playing. And I'll do it a little bit now. You can do it with me. So four Ds and four Es with ones and twos. Okay. So now you got two fingers down, okay? Um, and your reference point is your first finger, and there you go, okay? It looks the same as it did on in first, it's just up higher. Okay, so this is D and E, okay? So now what you've got in the packet, if you look at the, at the page, at the top of the page, I'm gonna put my glasses on. If you, at the top of the page, you've got where it says third position, and it tells you all the stuff and it tells you that it's D and E, which I'm, we just already talked about, just like we always do in school where you already know the answers. Okay, so now what you see is on your staff, you've got D and E on your little baby staff at the top, but all that they've changed is they've changed the number over the D to a one, which stands for first finger. We put fingerings above the notes, okay, when you're writing them in. Then 
above the E, which would normally be a zero or a four, depending, um, it says 2x, which uh, in this packet, you know, means extended, but it's just a whole step. So they're far away from each other, which is what I just showed you, okay? So yeah, your fingers are not close. So D and E are a whole step apart. And then that's how you know. So the one and the two, that's what that means, okay? So the one and the two, and the two is a whole, is a way, so it's extended. I'm gonna do it one more time. That's what it looks like on the staff. And this is what it looks like on the on your violin. So that your one and your two match, okay? Then that gives you enough to play number one, okay? So if you look at number one, starts, and they put a little Roman numeral for first position, and they put a little Roman numeral three for third position. But again, once you get going, it's all about the numbers above for fingerings. Okay, so you start on A, and you start in first position. So you play a, rest, then you play B, normal old B, don't get all freaked out. B, first position, first finger. Then you play, then rest, then you play C, C sharp, check the key signature, C sharp, rest, then you're gonna play D, third finger. You're doing that normally in first position, okay? Then rest, during the rest, this line means to shift up. And then you play D again, it should sound the same, but this time you're playing it with your first finger, okay? And then you play it with first finger again, because it's D, D. And then you play open A, open A, but don't move your hand, because if you look here, your high D again is still first finger. So you're going A, rest, B, rest, oh, sorry, A, rest, B, rest, C sharp, rest, D, shift, rest, and then one, D with first finger, one, one, zero fingers, zero fingers, one, in third position here, okay? Um, I'm gonna play it for you now, but the trickiest part is remembering don't shift here, shift here, and that's why we write that line. Tell We write all that, that's why I don't want you to write a bunch of stuff in when you're in third grade, because you're gonna write it in now, so it's gonna help you, okay? So I'm gonna play this now, but I have to put, you know, the music down, okay? So hopefully you're looking at your own packet. All right. Okay, so get yourself ready, so check it out. I'm trying to find the angle I wanna be on for you to see and play. Okay, I'm gonna be like this so you can see my hand. All right, so I'm gonna talk and play. So here I go, one, here's number one. One, two, ready, go. A, rest, B, first finger, rest, C sharp, second finger, stay there, use your third. During this rest, you shift up. Look, put your first finger down. Play open A, pick your finger up, and put your finger back down. That's it. That was the end of the line, okay? Now I'm gonna play it one more time. I'll try a different angle, I don't know if it's helpful. And I will uh, just, I'll not talk during it. I'll just, you can watch my hand, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna aim this way this time. Rest. Okay, so that's number one. All right, um, so you can try that one. All right, I'm gonna go on to number two. I'll do the whole page, okay? Uh, for number two, oh my gosh. Uh, for number two, okay, so, uh, what can, six, eight time, right? Okay, which is not a big deal, you just have to count it, which means the, eight, the each quarter note is worth two, and I'm going super slow, so it's gonna be, just to let you know, I'm gonna count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, I'll actually write it in for the first one. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I will use the all that little eighth note counting to go slow enough to make sure you can play it, okay? So then if you look at number two, you've got, a, a, you're at first position because you're gonna be down there. A, rest. B, first finger, no problem. Rest, uh, C sharp, second finger. Rest, then right here is where you're gonna shift up. 
So I'll write it in mine again. So you're gonna have second finger for C sharp, and then you shift up. I'll write the rest in while we're at it. Okay. Then you shift up, C sharp, rest a little shorter shift, but you know, take your time. Then you play D with your first finger in third position, rest. Then you play the E with your second finger, like we talked about. Boop, there it is. Then rest. Then back to D with first finger, so you're in third position. One, two, one. Rest. Then you shift back down, and you play C sharp with your second finger. So you had to go back. And then B, and then A. Rest, rest, rest. Okay? So you're shifting up here. And back down here, and the rest is in first position. Don't get bogged down like, oh my God, it's people get bogged down and they forget that when you're back in first position, just you just have to forget uh, that it was hard. It's not hard. Okay, here I go. I'm gonna do this one and talk through it. Okay, here's number two. Okay, so if you want to get ready and play along, you could do that. All right, here I go. So I'm on A and I'm in first position. Oh, by the way, you can't crush your bunny anymore because you can't shift if you do. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here's the first one. So, ready, go. A, rest, B, rest, C sharp, first position. Here comes the shift. During the rest, you go up. D with first finger. Then stay there and put your finger down. E, so much better than fourth finger. Back to first finger. Now, during this rest, you got to go back. Put your second finger down. C sharp, rest, B, rest, A, and then you're at the end. And I think personally the hardest part is going from the D, the last D that you play, to then you have to go to first position. So you shift back, and then you just add your second finger back to C sharp, okay? I'm going to play it one more time without any stops or anything. I'll just do it normal, okay? Basically, if you can play along with my second pass, then you know you're doing pretty well. Okay, here I go, I'm gonna move my hand like that. Okay, so there you go, all right. Uh, number three is actually pretty easy. I'm gonna bang through that one quick and you can try it on your own. Uh, it's easy. It's in uh, two, four time, two sharps. It's all in third position. You don't have to shift. You're just playing. So you're playing D, D, A, A, D, 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 E, E, D, D, E, E, D, D, E, E, D, D. But the only thing you're doing is you're doing it all in third position. So you're just playing all your D's and E's with your first and second finger, which is the hardest part. If you notice, I have it's not all written in. They tell you the first one. When you play the open A, you pick up your finger, you D or your E, but you don't shift your hand. So you're just doing ones. So fingering wise, it's one, one, zero, zero, one, 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 two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one. So it's actually pretty easy. I kind of like it because then I'm already shifting. I'm going to do this once. This one's pretty easy. So, so you're going, okay, so I need to be starting in third position because the D has a one above it. Okay, so, okay, I'm good to go. That's it. So all you know is your D and your E. Don't move your hand. So this is number three, okay? One, two, one, two, one. One, and that's it, okay? If you, um, I highly recommend to you get comfortable with it. If you take a pencil and if you forget that that's a two or something, write one, write a number in every once in a while to remind yourself. Don't, again, don't write all the numbers. You'll be up all night, but help yourself out a little bit. That's what, that's why you have pencils now because it's higher level stuff like this is what you're trying to do. All right, now that brings us to the song at the end of the page, okay? Sur le pont d'Avignon. Is French. Um, it has the shift in it. I wrote the answers in my packet for the shifting. Um, the first line and the second line are almost exactly the same. So what I did was on my packet, I wrote the fingering and the shift in on the top line 
totally written out so I can follow my little, what I'm supposed to be doing. And then on the second line, I left it off so I can try doing it without looking at all the answers. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up right now so you can see, okay? Um, the beginning is easy. The second part right there, it's right there where the shifting happens, where I wrote stuff in. And if you look on the second line right below it, you can see that it's the same thing. I just didn't write all the answers in. Okay, so I'm gonna talk it through and then I'm gonna play it. Okay, I'm gonna put my bow down. All right, so here we go. I'll tell you what you got. You got in first position, you got A, 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 B, 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 C sharp, second finger, but then there's a one. They want you to shift to third position, okay? So two, shift up, first finger D, then in third position, play the E with second finger, then play the open A, looks upside down, but it's right, it's an A. Play the open A with no fingers. While you're playing that open A, you shift your hand back so that you can then play the B in first position. B, A, B, B. Then the second line, exactly the same. A, A, A. You're back in first position again, don't forget. If you need to write a zero or something, you can do that. B, 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 C sharp, shift, D, E with second finger, open A, shift back, B, first finger B again, and open A, okay? So that's, if you wanna write it in, that's what it looks like, okay? Now, I'm gonna play it for you, okay? Um, it should, I'm gonna play it actually the fast way first, so this is what it should sound like and look like. I'm gonna go without stopping. I will do it uh, from this angle. I'll do it from here, I think you can see. Here we go, I'm gonna do it here. Okay, I got it. Here's the whole thing. If you can play along with this, you know you've got it. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to sound. So if it sounds like that, it's good, okay? I'm gonna do it in slow motion now, okay? And I'm gonna talk you through it. So the first part, you're normally first position. First finger B, no problem. C sharp, sec first position, second finger. Then slow motion, shift up. Play the D with your first finger. Play the E with your second finger. Play the open A and move your hand back at the same time. Then you're back in first position. Second line. Same thing. C sharp, shift, D. E with second finger. Open A, shift back. D. So that's it in slow motion with the talking, okay? Um, take your time. Did you notice I stop? I go, okay, shift. You're doing, you're not practicing to learn this song to play it fast. You're practicing to get your hand to do what you want it to do when you want it to do it correctly. And remember, when you're going up, you got to bring your thumb. And when you go back, you got to bring your thumb. You got to take your whole hand up and back. Okay. You can practice slide and slide. Okay. Um, okay. So that is the first whole page of that. I'm going to leave this video now. It's long, sorry. And then um, please let me know. I'll go over it again. If you need help, um, I'll give you a couple days to work on it. Let me know how it's going, though. I definitely want to see if you can get it. All right, you guys, I hope this helps you. Hope you can learn how to shift while you're home, because that'll be awesome for next year. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.